Now, the National Library in Beijing is currently staging an exhibition of less well-known Chinese calligraphy and writing styles. It features the original written languages of many of the country's diverse ethnic groups, and it tells the story of their history and origination. Let's get a closer look. Keeping language alive, this writing is Chinese, but it's not Mandarin. These experts are showing how to write ancient characters in the languages of China's many ethnic groups, languages that have mostly disappeared from daily life. Demonstrations include the language of the Shui people, the Naxi people, Tibetan and Mongolian. This is called Nu Shu or women's script. It was traditionally used only by women in Hunan and Guangxi provinces. The writing and character style simulates the actions of women making embroidery. It's not just the rich diversity of writing. Writing tools have always varied from place to place. The Yi people used the pens made from feathers, bamboo, hemp, and even pine tree leaves. You put some ink inside and stuff the cotton into the pen. Then, with one dip into the ink, one can write 13 characters. Famous brands of brushes, ink stones, and paper are all on display, and there is a giant crossword puzzle filled in with 4,800 words, already a candidate for the Guinness Book of World Records. Videos and lectures tell the story of the skills and tools involved in the evolution of China's written language. The exhibition runs until February the first. Sun Yaotian, CCTV.